With the funds, we've been able to establish a number of research projects. Some of it we're doing in-house and some of it we're doing in partnership. We're working with academics, we're working with government, we're working with a range of people in the community. Well, the primary beneficiaries are our clients. Um, so they're refugees and asylum seekers for whom uh, the awareness and the understanding about their experiences or their plight or um, what has driven them to flee their countries is better understood. They're also the beneficiaries because it helps inform the way in which funding and resources are directed so that the best possible assistance can be provided to them in a way that allows them to become more independent, to recover from previous experiences of trauma and uh, torture and get on with rebuilding new lives here in Australia. So we're doing some work at the moment looking at mothers and fathers of Afghan background and their experience of maternity services. We're doing a, another significant project looking at uh, young people of refugee backgrounds and mental health services. Again, we think that the outcomes of that project are going to be health services that know a lot more about how to make themselves accessible to and responsive to the needs of young people of refugee backgrounds. Asking that question of um, what works and how effective it is has really been asked in a way that really gives children of refugee background an opportunity to express what the experience is like for them. And as part of this project, we've developed a way of asking children how they feel and what they think about some of their experiences. One of the projects initiated was the development of a assessment tool to identify levels of vulnerability amongst asylum seekers and what services they, they should receive in order to deal with those vulnerabilities. And the Department of Immigration have now adopted that as their national tool for assessing vulnerability amongst asylum seekers into the future. The other thing that's happened is we've established good relationships with government and with a number of other bodies. So they themselves will take on board the understanding that they need to be you know, more sensitive to the needs of particular communities. So I think this has been a catalyst um, for changes that will roll on well beyond the life of any particular project. <laughs>